my name is Ashley Rice and welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay you guys, I am so excited to be reviewing one of the items from my Vegan Cuts box. I don't know if you can tell or not, but I am getting over a cold. It has hit the mucus is everywhere stage and I'm coughing and bleh. And so because of that, I am so excited to be trying out this product today. I just got these in my Vegan Cuts box. If you want to see that unboxing, I'm going to leave it up in eye right there so you can go ahead and check it out. But these are the Bee Leaf Vegan Soups and the flavors are garden vegetable and chicken flavor. And the reason that I am so excited to check these out is because they're curate cups. How amazing is that? But probably the best part about them is the fact that they're recyclable. That's amazing. <laughs> So basically what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to do this with eight ounces of hot water. If you don't have a Keurig, it's really simple. All you have to do basically is peel off the top and then get eight ounces of hot water, pour it into a bowl and just stir it all together. So the one that I'm going to try today, because I'm not going to do both of them, I'm going to save this for a different time. I am going to be trying the garden vegetable vegan soup. Reason being is because I was never a huge fan of chicken noodle soup to begin with, so I'd rather review the one that I think I'm gonna like better on my channel. It is 2.0 compatible if you have the Keurig 2.0. The company Bee Leaf is dedicated to creating delicious plant-based soup bases and seasonings. We are all about providing healthy food for a healthy diet and lifestyle, and we won't compromise on flavor, ever, which I think is amazing. They actually, like, guys, totally worth checking out their website, and I'm gonna leave a link below, because they got some, like, really cool products. Like, they got vegan shrimp, they got vegan ribbon fish, vegan fish ham, vegan bacon, vegan hot dogs. Dude, I would love to try some of their vegan meats, because... I am all about that life. And then they have the two vegan soups that I'm sharing on my channel today, and then they also have some base broth and seasoning in three different flavors. But anyways, I'm gonna keep this video short, sweet, and simple. As you can tell, <laughs> I am struggling. <laughs> Let's go ahead and try this bad boy out. I'm gonna take you over to my Keurig, and we're gonna see how this works. My water in my Keurig is now heating up that I put more in there, but we're gonna go ahead and try this guy out. A little bit of the powder did just come out. You can kind of see it right there. Um, since water's coming out, I know it'll mix together, so I'm not like too worried about that. So I'm gonna stir it up, mostly because it was a little hard to see because I was refocusing my camera, but all the powder came out at first and then some of it came out with the water, but so you'll probably need to stir it up. Alrighty guys, the first thing I'm noticing right away um, as my voice is returning to normal, which is great, is that the powder wants to set. I wish I could show you better, but I think you can see it a little bit like right up here. If I stir it, like you're starting to get color back. So as you're drinking it, you will have to continuously stir it to make sure that the powder is mixing with the water because it does want to separate. Let's try this guy out. Oh, that's really nice though. Mm-hmm. It's got like a, I would say like a medium flavor. Uh, it's not like a punch in the face, but it's also, you can tell it's there. You can very much taste everything in it. 100% for like a Keurig soup. This is pretty great. Guys, this would be perfect for taking and just leaving it at work. Um, I sometimes, I think, I think other people do this. I think this isn't only me, but sometimes I'll like leave for work and then I'll realize I forgot to grab my lunch. And so then I have like nothing for lunch and I, don't usually take a lunch break. I usually just eat while I'm working so I can't really go out and get food. And so I have to like try and like find something at the office that can kind of like hold me over or I have to like order food, which isn't like my favorite thing to do. So having something like this, just like sitting at the office, like waiting for me, I think is amazing. And it's also good for whenever you're sick and you need some good old fashioned soup. <laughs> It's already separating and it's been like, I probably set this down for like 30 seconds. So you do have to continuously stir it. That's the only thing that's kind of like, eh, I wish I didn't have to do that. And like you could partner that up with a lot of different things. If you wanted to partner it up with crackers, you probably could. So I figured, I also got these in my Vegan Cuts Unbox, so I thought I would try them with them because I like crackers and other things with my soups. And these are the Jill's Gluten-Free Grain-Free Crackers and it's the original sea salt and cracked pepper flavor. These are gluten-free, grain-free, corn-free, soy-free, dairy-free, vegan, non-GMO, and there is no trans fat. They are made with five different types of nuts and seeds, and they do recommend to refrigerate or freeze these just so that they'll stay fresh longer because there are no preservatives in these guys, which I think is awesome. 
Uh, really quickly, nutrition information. Serving size is 10 crackers. That's pretty good. Calories are 100. Total carbs are 7 grams, which is 2% of your daily value. Fiber, you're getting 2 grams. There are 0 grams of sugar, 3 grams of protein. You're getting 2% of your daily value of calcium, 4% of your daily value of iron, and that is everything. But I figured it, as long as I'm doing this review on the soup and I want some crackers with my soup, I might as well uh, review these guys for you. They do want to fall apart. I just did have one break. Dip some of that in our soup. These probably wouldn't be my go-to crackers, but they're not bad. If you like the five grain crackers, I think you would enjoy these. I, I'm not usually a huge fan of five grain crackers, and these are more enjoyable than some that I've had. So I think these are a good brand of five grain crackers. It's mostly a texture thing. I'm just not a huge fan of like being able to feel everything in them. Soup, definitely. 10 out of 10, you guys. I think that's worth it. I like the fact of uh, the convenience. I like that you can still recycle the cups. I think that's really, really important. I think the flavor is great. I like how easy it is to make it. The crackers... They're not bad. Again, I'm not a huge fan of like this type of cracker. My mom would absolutely love these. She loves five grain crackers and like she would be obsessed. This at least has some flavor to it. Whereas some other ones that I've had in the past feel like I'm eating cardboard. <laughs> okay, you guys, I think that's gonna be it for today. I hope you liked this review of the soup and the crackers. Let me know in the comments below which of these seem like something that you would really enjoy. Would you partner them together? Are you not a big fan of five grain seed crackers? Also let me know if you've tried these guys out yourself and what your thoughts are of either of these products. If you would like to try them out for yourself I am going to leave all the links down below in the comments the ones that are affiliate links will be labeled as such if you would like to help out my channel that is a really nice way to do so for now I am going to go finish my soup maybe take a nap <laughs> and see how I feel later um, I hope everyone is doing so well if you are new to my channel I would love it if you would subscribe and click the little bell down below to receive notifications for my future videos also make sure to give this video a thumbs up and other than that I'll see you guys next time bye